My name is Ian Seiferling. I'm a PhD candidate at the University of Quebec, uh, Canada, and working in cooperation with the University of Leipzig. Through my role with the Fund of Europe project, we're studying the forest structural complexity and the phenology of the forest ecosystems. We do this by using digital photography, that is taking repeat uh, pictures of the forest stands. We install time-lapse cameras in all the plots uh, in every region of the, of the FunDiv uh, network that are taking a view of the plot and capturing an image every three hours for every day of the growing season. This results in about six to seven hundred images per year for each plot. We can then analyze these photographs and these time series of images uh, in the computer lab and extract uh, uh, image metrics um, which we can then correlate with features of the, the forest structure and uh, other ecosystem features. One property of the forest we can measure with the time-lapse photography is the phenology of the forest. The phenology is the study of the seasonal patterns and the timing of events in nature. So things like when the trees start to grow, um, when leaf senescence kicks in and leaves fall, when animals migrate, when fish spawn. Since different tree species all have different growth patterns and structures, different combinations of tree species are going to influence things like the light regime significantly. And of course, light is one of the fundamental drivers of ecosystem processes like production and biomass and the composition of other species groups. The hypothesis then that we're testing is that forests with more species or a greater combination of structural traits interact to form more complex environments and thus are acting to fill that space more efficiently. By doing so, the trees would also maximize their light interception and as a result fill the space with more biomass. So if this is true, it would help to explain why species rich forests are more productive than species poor forests. So with some very preliminary results, so far we're already finding that with more tree species diversity, the understory growing season length is increased by up to 100 days. So this is a very large difference, and this represents a very large potential to store and recycle carbon.